everyone, Jane's Mansfield here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, it has been like five whole days since I've updated and oh my God, I'm so excited. I made a little cryptic announcement on my community page about what has come into my possession. Yes, I have. Oh, that was a louder sound than I expected from my thighs. This is my wake up call. Anyways, I got, oh my God, oh my God. Oh. The infamous wig from Bob the Drag Queen. Yes, this is the infamous wig that Bob has worn here on YouTube that got a lot of traction. And people have not left me alone about this. So Bob's assistant Kennedy has sent it over to me. I don't know if Bob knows or not, but I have it now in my possession and we're gonna transform it. Bob totally knows, I just saw him yesterday. I'm excited though, oh my gosh. <laughs> now I have to say, looking at this wig, I got a couple things wrong. Let me just grab mine first and I'll show you because I recreated this wig for our wig recreation. Click that if you want to see that, the wig recreation. There's really like a card or something that pops up if I remember to put it in there. I'm, I'm pretty bad at that. I'm bad at YouTube. All right, here we go. This is how mine looked. I was way off with the colors here. <laughs> Mine's a bit more of like a red, like an auburn mixed with a gold wig that I had. Both hard fronts, so I got that right. Hers is more of a true red with a brown and deeper brown in the back, which I did not capture with mine. I'm gonna explore this wig a little bit more, but yeah, I was way off with mine. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna put this down here. Oh, okay. Now, I know what you all are waiting for. You wanna see me try this wig on. Well, today is your lucky day. I'm gonna try this on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the wig, yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can see myself in like the reflection off the lens and I don't feel like I look that bad. Like I feel like I look pretty chic. It's sort of like if Olivia Rodrigo had joined parliament, like, you know, the funk group from the 70s. Yeah, very that right now. Ooh. If I get a little bit of something, something angsty, angsty writing. Yes, very that. <laughs> I look at this like this is a very interesting wig. Like the crimp sections are like hair extensions that are like twisted on, like twist and extensions. This is gonna be interesting. I'm excited to transform this. I have a couple of ideas I wanna try out. I'm gonna see if they work out because it's a hard front, which means it's gonna be a little bit of an easier transformation for me. If it were a lace front, it might be a bit more work, but I have a couple of ideas of how to make something out of this. My creative juices are flowing. So thank you, Bob, for sending this over. And I can't wait to send it back to you and I'll hopefully, I'll whole new style you're excited to wear. So, I'll be right back. Let's start styling this. <laughs> all right, we are back. The wig is all on the head. I secured it. Now it's time to start exploring it and styling it. Now, let me see, what have we got here? Oh, okay. This is gonna be exciting. I'm just gonna run my brush through. Jesus Christ, security system going off. Okay, here we go brushing through it okay so it's decent hair like I looked at the wig and it's actually a Motown collection wig which is a run-of-the-mill like wig shop kind of collection wig which means the hair is gonna be relatively good especially with the hard front we are working with something you know pretty malleable here as far as like you know styling goes now the fun part begins we have to start styling now what I had in mind was I wanted to go with something very 60s with it, or like a fusion hair show even, because it is a hard front and it is a double stack as well. It looks like she's sewn on another wig on top of it that was a lace front on top of a hard front. So, and it's really well sewn on too, like it's really very good work. Good job, Bob, very good. I figured we'd do like a half up, half down kind of fantasy because there are no side, like there's, you know, it's no lace front, so I can't do anything with the sides. I have to hide them. So. Let's start with doing that. And we're gonna do something up top to make it look more up dewy and fun. And then have the bottom be down and possibly curled. I'm thinking curls too. Start the process of doing like a barrel curl. Oh yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. Wig shop hair is usually pretty malleable. When you look at that, like you can get a lot out of it if you really know what you're doing. And I didn't want to take out like the crimp sections either because I feel like it adds a lot of personality to the wig. And I still want to keep some kind of like semblance of the original wig there. Because a wig's so infamous, you can't just take away from its story like that. You gotta have fun with it. Yeah, I'm thinking something fun like that. Like we'll incorporate like barrel curls like that all around the top 
and then do make do like a French twist with like a curled pony in the back. So I have like a hairstyle you've seen me wear a couple of times. A fusion of like Ronnie Spector with you know dressy hairstyles of the 1960s. Tuck in that tail and only start rolling down when you feel like you've got a nice smoothed out section. Perfect. I'm gonna tilt it a little bit to give it more personality. Show you. Tilt it a little bit. That way you can see more of the barrel. And I recently inherited a lot of bobby pins after I did that Coco Montrese wig. I got a whole pile of them that I took out of that wig that I can use for this one. Ah, all right. I'm gonna do a couple more barrel curls up top and then when I get to the crimp sections, I'll come right back. <laughs> all right, I am back. I did all of the barrel curls on the wig and I isolated all the crimp sections that are like little hair extensions because I actually want to do something with them. So I'm going to do the last barrel curl for you folks. Now, when I was doing some research on this wig, that's right, I did research. According to Bob, she originally made this wig to be like a reference to Hedwig and the Angry Inch, which now that I'm looking at it, I kind of can see it. Like the, you know, the bangs and like the big bouffant on top. Very, you know, um, Neil, Neil, Neil Patrick something. John Mark something, whoever played Hedwig, that guy. I can definitely see that reference being made here, which I kind of love, you know, I like that. You know, now that I know that, it makes a lot more sense to me as opposed to just watching it as an audience, not having any kind of like context for it. And I have to say, you folks have been harassing me endlessly about this wig. Yes, it's gotten to the point where like, I'll be at drag shows at the garden, you know, doing my brunch show. And people will come up to me after it's just like, did you get Bob's wig? Bob said she sent that wig to you. And I'm just like, I haven't gotten it yet. Jeez, but y'all have been so aggressive about it. It's where I'm happy I'm finally doing it, but good Lord, <laughs> calm down. It's just a wig. So far I'm liking this. And like what I did in the bottom here is I've been pulling a little bit of the gold so I can incorporate it in there, tie it in together with the rest of the wig. So it tells a story. That's right, we're telling a story with this wig. That way, you know, it's not so isolated. It's just like red, gold. Cute. Okay, let's put a couple more in for security purposes. And also to like keep some of the hair together. That's one of the little aspects about barrel curling is like there's also little bobby pins in between the curls too to like hold them together. So that when you like you shake it, they don't all fall apart. They're all working together. Now, let me take the clips out of here so the crimp sections can fall down. Wait, I didn't want to take these out entirely because I do, I actually do kind of like them. <laughs> like it adds a bit of a personality to the wig that was not there before. <laughs> And what I'm going to do with these is I'm actually going to use them to disguise any kind of holes that happened in here because if you look at the double stack, you can see there's a little bit of polyfill inside of it to make it big. So we're going to use this to help disguise some of those sections. And if you watch that Killian's video on how to style his kind of wigs, he actually uses like this crimpy texture of hair and you can actually mold it with heat and everything to get it to like something really, really spectacular and different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, I barrel curled it like that, and I'm going to split it apart so that you get two loops. And I can use that to hide any kind of sections where you can see the stuffing. And what I like about these is that you actually can play around with them to make them as big as you want. I have to say, I'm so thrilled with how passionate everyone has been about this video, and I'm super excited to do it. Like. People were really trying to like come at me thinking it was going to be a real big challenge. Like I was looking at this wig a long time. It's been a while since I got it. And like, I kind of got a few ideas of what to do with it. When as soon as I got it in person, it's like, oh yeah, I know exactly where we can go with you. Cause like I said, like I stand by the fact that I don't think this wig is that bad. Like, I think it's actually kind of cool. And the fact Bob made it is even cooler. Like I'm doing a collaboration with him in essence, you know, I'm working on something he created and now it's a collab. We'll play around with those in a minute. So I'm gonna clip you two out of the way. But for the most part, the barrel updo is done. And I think it looks really cool. And I tied in, like I said, some of the gold so it tells a color story. All right, let's clip you two out of the way for now and work on the bottom section. Now the hairstyle I had in mind, if you've ever seen Little Shop of Horrors, it's very much inspired by the girl singers in that, like the girl group, when they're starting to sing Supper Time and it's more of like an F, like they're all dressed up in these beautiful dresses and they have these big updos on. It's very theatrical and fun. I want to do something a little reference to that. Like the girl group from Little Shop, like all their hairstyles combined. Do a nice permatease. We're gonna permatease all around the base. It's gonna be a combo of the Little Shop girl group, the Ronettes, and just like elegant hairstyles of the 60s for like, you know, going out in the town. The Marvelettes, they used to have a lot of fun with their hair. And with these beauty shop wigs, you can see 
the tracks are very thin, so we have to do like a perma tease to it. Now I have to tell you, like, I'm such a big fan of Buff Drake with you guys. <laughs> like, I kind of nerd out every time I meet him. Like, I just saw him yesterday too, and even though I was just like, oh my god, it's Bob. Like, that's one of those people where it's like, I loved, 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 loved their career, even from the like very beginning of it when they had a different name. I remember she did this routine to Celine Dion's All Coming Back to Me Now, where she just like acts out the whole, every single lyric. And it is the funniest thing. It's like just a great comedic mind when it comes to lip syncing. She's got the How to Vogue, which is also legendary. All right, I'm gonna tease out the back of this. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I am back. It is time to work on the back. I perma teased out the back, so it's got a nice little bit of volume, but I wanna curl it, but I don't wanna like, I wanna do a lot of sections at a time, so I'm gonna use these perm rods. What are these things? They're perm rods, right? Sponges, sponge rods? I don't know, I go to first school. Girl, I didn't either, so I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm curling a big section of hair with it because I've seen Shop Will do it, I've seen Vanity do it, now I'm doing it, okay? Because I don't feel like doing all that hot rollering if I don't have to. Plus, I'm gonna put it in a ponytail, I just want the ends to be curled. So, I'm just gonna do that and do it in three sections because that's as many rollers as I have. <laughs> It doesn't matter if it gets a big curl, just as long as the bottom is curled. And we're also gonna do some curling here on the front too, on the fringe, so that I can cut it shorter and get a nice little like tapering here going. It's the whole idea in this, right? A whole concept I've thought up, you know? And I've only used these rollers once, and for the most part, I got a pretty good result with it. So, I'm excited. Let's see how it goes. Spoiler alert, she does it wrong. All right, that's out of sight, out of mind. We're not gonna curl that yet. We're steaming, I mean. Set. Take our clips down. Now for this, I am going to do a pin curl to curl them. Wrap it up like that. Similar how I did the barrel curl. And pin curl it in. Believe it or not, this is how I originally used to curl my wigs back in the day. I'd use a million of these things all over the head because I wanted to get like the authentic vintage look and then wonder why like it wasn't strong enough that I'd use way too much hair in the clips and the clips would just like fall out. It's so, like half the wig would curl and half wouldn't. So it'd be like this mixture of textures. I look like Taylor Dane. Now this needs to get steamed. So I'm gonna go through and hit it with a steamer and I'll be <laughs> right back. Alrighty, we are back. Everything is all curled and hopefully it curled. Taking the rods down. And yeah, we got a little bit of a curl there. I can live with it. Now, I didn't let this dry overnight like you people usually do. I just kind of rushed it for the video. So I knew the curl wasn't gonna be as impactful, but again, like, I'm not doing like a super curled hairstyle. It's just supposed to be like a little wave for the ponytail. Let's do the sides quick. Worry about the back later. All right, that gave me the wave I wanted. Good. I just wanted a wave because I'm gonna cut this short. It's already gonna give me a direction of where I need to cut. Ugh, beautiful. I love it already. Let's see if we can do the same thing on the other side. Now for the back, I was thinking of doing like a French twist kind of spiel. So, I'm gonna take the back. That's also gonna help mask some of the tracks that are showing if I do this. Cause like I said, these beauty shop wigs never give you enough hair. And it's sort of like how I showed you how to do the French twist updo, or the French braid updo. We're just making a French braid and adding hair to the sections at a time. See, like I did a typical braid like that. Now I start pulling hair from another section. So from that section, that becomes a part of that section. And probably curl the ends of this a bit more because some of them didn't get enough curls. So that's gonna get curled a bit more, but that's essentially what the back is going to look like, where I mask some of the tracks with a braid halfway through, and it's gonna be a ponytail. And we have our sides cut. And I also gotta like mask the side tracks too, so it means I have to adjust the French braid a little bit. But again, I'm doing it with a tight grip right now. Well, I'm gonna loosen it up as I start to like do finishing touches to it. So bear that in mind, like you'll be able to like take a good full look at it as you're doing it. And you'll be able to see what exactly needs to get masked and where you have to like pin hair in certain sections and stuff like that. All right, I'm going to tie this off and curl the bottom. And I'll be right back with the final <laughs> results. Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God. I snap with this hair, okay? Look at her. I think I did a good, I didn't fart, okay, that's the chair. I think I did a really good job with it, yes. Now, this ponytail part was a bitch to curl, all right? She would not take a curl. I did a curling iron, I did perm rods, and I did like two rounds of, um, what's it called, hot rollers. Like I did the roller set to it, and it finally took a little bit of a curl, but it was a real struggle bus. Other than that, like the rest of it was fairly easy to do. I cropped the little sides to my cheeks to give it a nice 60s flare, and 
hide the sideburns. I'm very pleased with what I did with this and hopefully Bob likes it. <laughs> I feel like it looks completely different from what we had previously. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun. Um, what else, what else? Oh yes, 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 I have a little announcement for those of you who are sending things to my P.O. box. Please, please, please be advised that if you send me anything, please give me like a tracking number or something because the post office here is terrible. They never tell me any updates, so I don't know how many packages I've missed because I never got any updates or like a slip put in my box saying there's something there. <sighs> Anyways, send me a tracking number. That way I know when it gets there and I can make sure we actually get it done for a video. All right, thank you. Now this wig was so much fun to do. I am so excited to see it out in the world and, and see what you guys are all gonna say about it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm excited. Now I'd like to take a moment, a Venmo moment where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo and I also have some PayPal emojis and some cash at me's. Yes, so I would like to thank Raul, Pietra, Cole, Sergio, Malay, Sean, all right, Yanez, thank you, Francisco, and it says, hi from Mexico, Frankie Fimbres, I hope I said that right, Benjamin, Sue, Raul, and Diana. <laughs> thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. Now this video was a blast to do. Um, hopefully I can do more wigs like this in the future. Like this is so much fun. And I'm so glad we finally put to rest this question. The Bob wig has been transformed, fully transformed. I did so much this wig, okay? Don't, I don't wanna hear anything in the comment section. I did a lot to this wig and it took me hours, okay? So you better not be disappointed or I'll come to your house and I'll hunt you down. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Bye! Now hit the outro! <laughs> Click here and see me style a wig for Alexis Mateo. Or see me try out the Plant Gay Collection from Trixie Cosmetics. Come on, click it. If you don't click it, I'll steal the packages off your porch. So click it!